Hello and welcome back everyone, and Wolf here with even more Mass Effect 2. Where we last left off, we briefly went back to Omega, here in the Terminus Systems, just to hand over a datapad concerning the various gangs who were planning to take on Aria. I was hoping she would um, open up a bit more about herself and about what's going on on Omega, but she was as pleased about the information and that was about it. So... We are going to, well, I was tempted to do a few side missions here and now, but I think we should go to the Citadel next and um, go recruit a potential new member to our squad who is available if you have purchased the Stolen Memories DLC, I believe it is, a stealth infiltration member called Kasumi Goto, as well as we can stop in and speak to the Council to see if they plan to do anything against the Reapers or the Collectors. So, yeah, it's worth fair visiting, at least. So we need to leave the Omega Nebula. Uh, let's have a look. Don't need to buy any more probes right now. You buy them in um, bunches of fives, so it's not really worth the investment just to buy two more to refill our stock. And let's use the mass relay. We'll be going... Oh. Anything new? No, I don't think there's anything new just yet. Oh, what's this? Oh, the local cluster, of course. It tells you um, how much... How much you've scanned of the area, so you don't need to visit there again. For instance, we've only scanned 15% of the Omega Nebula right now. What that doesn't mean, though, is we've completely scanned... The one planet we were using our probes on. It just means that we visited that planet. Gotta be aware of that. Obviously we will be visiting the Omega Nebula in the near future again. Because where, what I'm going to be doing off camera is scanning most of the planets I can. Just to get us some more resources to spend on various upgrades. But let's be, the, be on our way. Okay, here we are on the Widow system. We have another fuel depot, we have a mass relay, but we want to go to whoop, the Citadel here. Supposedly constructed by the long extinct Protheans, this colossal deep space station serves as the capital of the Citadel Council. Turns out it wasn't created by the Protheans after all though, due to revelations at the end of Mass Effect 1, the Citadel was constructed by the Reapers to purposefully be used by advancing civilizations to help guide them through um, certain technological developments, same as the discovery of Element Zero and the Mass Relays. Basically the Citadel is one giant trap and it does actually have its own relay into dark space, which is where the Reapers are apparently slumbering. But only Shepard and his team knew that, and I'm pretty sure that the majority of the people who we probably told don't believe us or have just totally disregarded the information. Uh, crew members. We'll take Garrus, of course. Do I want to take Morden? Obviously, after the releva uh, revelations he gave us about the Genophage, I'm not sure if I want to take him, but 
Sure, why not? Uh, we'll unlock your final rank in Solarian Scientist. Less weapon damage once again, but increased shield strength. And Garrus, I think you're fine. Yep. Garrus, what weapons do you use? Just the... Oh, an assault rifle and a, cl a collect... Oh. I guess we picked that up from what, a DLC. Uh, we picked up the Vindicator battle rifle. Yeah, that's fine. Commander Shepard, enter the password and receive a free gift. Okay. Got problems with collectors? Try Kasumi's credit services. Commander Shepard, we have the finest companions waiting for you. Perhaps something petite, smart, and Japanese would be your style. Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. What makes you so sure? There's a certain... aura about you. Like you've seen things no one else has. Even without knowing what you looked like, I knew it was you. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version? They were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. We'll ask them about- ask Kasumi about her and Cerberus once again. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. I assume this deal is something I should know about? Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's grey box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it, and I'm planning to get it back. Tell me about this former partner of yours. His name was Keiji Okuda. The best hacker and entry man I've ever known. Unfortunately, he slipped up and made himself infamous. He stole something he shouldn't. He warned me it was bad. Something that could spark interstellar war if it got out. That information... got him killed. What could he have found that's so bad? He wouldn't say what it was, just that it was dangerous. He said if it got out, Humanity would be in trouble. He encrypted it, wrapped it up in his own memories. To decode the information, you have to sift through all the time we spent together. Now those memories are all that's left of him. I can understand why you'd want to get it back. Getting it back will be easier with your help, Shepard. What do you know about Donovan Hawk? Mr. Hawk is a well-respected businessman. Arms dealer, murderer, generally not a great guy. His mansion's famous for being hard to crack. But I have a way in, and I think you're gonna love it. I doubt Hawk's the kind of guy who takes kindly to people sneaking into his house. I always expect trouble. That's why you're here. What's this heist you're planning? Not here, Shepard. You'll get a briefing when the time comes. I need time to nail down the details anyway. I've taken the liberty of getting you some evening wear, though. You want to look presentable. I assume a gray box is some kind of hardware? It's a neural implant. Illegal in most places. Stores memories, thoughts, secret codes, illicit information. This one in particular belonged to my partner, Keiji Okuda. 
We worked together for a long time, before Hawk killed him. If that's what Cerberus promised you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. So, Kasumi Goro has already joined our party. We need to travel to the planet Beckenstein. Okay, uh, do we want to switch partner? Yeah, why not? There we are. She has Shadow Strike and she specializes in heavy pistols and submachine guns. Why not? We'll take her with us. Kasumi. We only have the Shuriken Machine Pistol and, of course, the Carnifex Hand Cannon. That's fine. She is now in our party. Let's look at her ability, shall we? We have Shadow Strike, Cloak and Stick behind a target to deliver a devastating blow. It's a pretty good ability. It's like our biotic charge, very high risk. Considering um, you're basically getting in point blank range. We'd probably best give her her Master Thief ability. And I would like to unlock her flashbang grenade, which I think helps her disorientate people. And... And that reduces her power recharge time. Yeah, we'll go Master Infiltrator so she can use her Shadow Strike a bit more often. As well as Overload and Flashbang Grenade when they become available for us. I think we're fine storyline wise. If not, I'll make another big save now. And I need to remember save 11. Hopefully it doesn't become an issue though. The main gun of an Epris class dreadnought accelerates 1 to 1.3% of light speed. It impacts with the force of a 38 kiloton bomb. That is three times the yield of the city buster dropped on Hiroshima back on Earth. That means Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. Now, serviceman Burnside, what is Newton's first law? Sir, an object in motion stays in motion, sir. No credit for partial answers, maggot. Sir, unless acted on by an outside force, sir. Damn straight! I dare to assume you ignorant jackasses know that space is empty. Once you fire this hunk of metal, it keeps going till it hits something. That can be a ship, or the planet behind that ship. It might go off into deep space and hit somebody else in 10,000 years. If you pull the trigger on this, you are ruining someone's day, somewhere and sometime. That is why you check your damn targets. That is why you wait for the computer to give you a damn firing solution. That is why, Serviceman Chung, we do not eyeball it. This is a weapon of mass destruction. You are not a cowboy shooting from the hip. Sir, yes sir. Wow. You know what, I've never actually just stood here and listened to that all the way through. This recruits is a 20 Oh dear, run away! Feel the weight. Every five... I thought it might be nice to come back here and see how it's changed. But it's just like it was. Same dirty streets, same unrepentant scavengers, same revolving door prisons. Being security here is a terrible job. This is exactly why I left. Now we have galactic news. The Destiny Ascension has completed its 20 colony victory cruise. Council members aboard thanked human alliance soldiers for their efforts in repelling Saren's invasion two years ago. I'm sure. Okay. So this is a... Uh, let's look at our map. This is Sakira Ward, I think it's known as. Basically, it's similar to the wards that we set up or explored in the original Mass Effect. Different layout, of course. But it has its own bar, again, the Dark Star Lounge. As well as various merchant stores that we may want to um, peruse while we're here. 
as well as I think there is a way to travel to other different areas of the Citadel where we can meet up with, obviously, the Citadel Council. Uh, actually, we might be able to do it from here. No. So we can go to the Presidium and the Factory District later on. Okay. It's been a couple of years since I passed through here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. After the Geth attack, there was a review of security protocol. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. We apologize for the inconvenience. Do you think a Geth would stand out? Assumptions are dangerous. Be alert, be safe. Thanks for your time. Next! It might be worthwhile popping in later on, speaking to her again. I swear to God, I didn't touch anything. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... dead. I was listed as missing in action a couple of years ago. Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate you in our system. He's just past the scanners on your right. Okay. Hello, you Avina. To make him scream a little. He's not going to tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. Yes, I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. But you're not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs, then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. But I can see you're a busy man. So how about I just press this button right here, and we call it done? That'd be great. Done. You're good to go. You should head up to the Presidium, though. The Council would probably like to know that one of their lost specters is still kicking. What's the easiest way to get to the Presidium from down here? Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. I will. Having access to the Council and the Spectre's resources would be useful. Yeah. The Council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? Last time I was here, there were no human captains in CSEC. No, CSEC took a lot of casualties when the Geth boarded the Presidium. The Special Response Division was hard hit. They stopped turning their noses up at human resumes. They needed bodies in uniform, and we had the most experienced bodies. It looks like most of the damage from Sovereign's attack has been repaired. The Presidium was pretty shot up, of course. They fixed that first. All the words got hit with debris when the ship exploded. Most of the damage was superficial, and the Keepers got things restored fast. Tasery Ward got the worst. A big chunk hit near the Dillanaga concert hall. They're still clearing wreckage and trying to get power restored. Dillanaga. I think we had to collect Matriarch Dillanaga's writings in the first Mass Effect as well. Uh, hmm. Tell me about this place. All the wards are more or less multicultural, but the other four are dominated by Asari, Turians, or Solarians. In Zakira, we've got major enclaves of Volus, Elcor, and Hanar. There's also a human commercial zone at Shinakiba. We've got a few Krogan walking around, and I think I saw a quarry in the other day. I overheard your conversation. Make him scream a little? This isn't a Presidium. All they have to worry about are protesters outside their free speech zones or someone's poodle crapping on the grass. Down here, we have drugs, organized crime, and murder. 
Policing a ward is like policing New York City. Sometimes you have to work outside the Council's rulebook. CSEC has changed. I should be going. You need anything else, let me know. Can do. Excellent. Interrogation room. Access denied. That's fair. So now we can get up to the Presidium. We couldn't before because we had to get our ID uh, certified again. Uh, we got Avena here. The VI program of the Citadel. Let's see what she has new to say. Welcome back, Shepard. It has been two years, three months, and seventeen days since the Citadel last welcomed you. This is the Zakara Ward Transportation Hub. Public shuttles and shopping are available through the CSEC security cordon. Hmm. There seem to be a lot more CSEC officers than the last time I was here. In the wake of the Geth attack two years ago, additional security precautions were implemented for the safety and security of residents. In addition to increased CSEC patrols, weapon carry restrictions have been tightened. So has crime decreased? Violent crime has decreased by 23%. Property crime has decreased by 41%. Incident clearance has improved by 16%. It looks like this place has recovered from Sovereign's attack. Repair of the damage from the Geth attack is ongoing. There is still extensive damage on Tasery Ward. Geth? It was Sovereign who led the attack. A Reaper. I have no information on a Reaper. References to the term exist in some parahistorical theories on galactic extinction cycles. They're really selling the Geth did it message. I bet you can't even say Reapers without inciting a panic. Reapers! <laughs> what stores are available on this level? Only one store exists on this level. Citadel Souvenirs offers licensed mementos of your visit. Their line of Starship models is well regarded. Thanks. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. I sell you shall try. Okay. Hey, Emily. Emily Wong. Officials in the Systems Alliance remain tight-lipped about the recent disaster on the pioneer colony of Freedom's Progress. The human outpost is believed to have been destroyed, with no survivors on record. Details are sketchy due to a news blackout. This is the latest in a series of frontier settlements lost by the Alliance. The Hanar Shrine of the Enkindlers plans a prayer vigil for the deceased. The Hanar maintain that the lost colonies are the Protheans' wrath. After human explorers defiled a Prothean data beacon two years ago on Eden Prime. Interesting. So, Citadel Souvenirs. Hello. Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. These stores are owned by the Citadel, right? That's correct. Citadel Souvenirs outlets are owned by the Council government. The profits generated by sales are used to maintain the station. We offer an assortment of decorations suitable for display in your personal quarters. Thanks for your time. Of course, citizen. Let's see what she has for available. A space hamster! The small furry, furry rodent looks up at you with what seems to be a knowing smile. <laughs> a giant miniature space hamster, perhaps? Of course we're going to purchase it. And we can purchase fish. Now... We do have a giant fish tank up in the captain's quarters. The concerning thing about purchasing fish is that you need to feed them. Now, every time I've previously played this game, I have forgotten at some point, and I've came back and all the fish have been floating at the top of the tank. For the purposes of the series, I may as well buy them, and together we can see if I can actually look after my pets a lot better than usual. Like, I'm not really concerned about the space hamster. He can look after himself. But the fish, they need looking after. And we might as well buy a model of the original Normandy and a model of the Destiny Ascension. And now Sidel Souvenirs has nothing else to sell. So do you want to get one of the fish or maybe a model ship? How is a model ship supposed to remind me of the Citadel? 
It's festive, and you like ships. I'm an engineer, honey. I look at ships all day. Where... Hmm, excuse me. See, where do we want to go next? Uh, we might as well head upstairs first of all. Gonna be exploring the entirety of the Zakira wards if we can anyway. So here's another store. What can I do for you? I thought weapons were restricted on the Citadel now. Carrying them around is. Selling them isn't. We store them in off-site containers and deliver them to your ship. People who have permission to carry, like CSEC, can walk out with them. If everything's done by catalog, why are you here? Rodham believes in salesmanship. The personal touch. Some say we're old-fashioned. We recognize that adventure traveling is a niche. A small, tight-knit community. I'll be going. Come again. See what you have for sale. Heavy pistol damage would be tempting. Same with sniper rifle damage again. Holy hell, you have everything I kind of want. Spare ammo capacity. Is that a modification for our armor? It might be. I guess we'll take it. And the Aegeus vest. We already have a chest piece that increases our, well, decreases the time needed to recharge our shields, which I kind of like more than 5% extra health. For completionist's sake, even though I'm not going to be a completionist in this game, I'm going to purchase it anyway, though we probably won't wear it. 2,000 credits isn't too important, I won't miss it too badly. If I come to regret that decision later on, then, oh well, I guess I'll have to come to regret it. Have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? I love that game. It's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has 11 billion players now. Do you have any games you'd like to trade in? You get two credits toward a new game. I'm good, thank you. Where does this lead us? Oh, this leads us to the Dark Star Lounge. Where we can practice our terrible dancing moves all over again. Anything interesting going on around here? I serve drinks. You want to know what's going on? Check the news. Fair enough. I don't know why humans always ask me that. <laughs> I'm done for now. Let me know if you change your mind. Let's have a look around, see if there's anything. Dance question mark? Is there anything around here? There is. Ah, it's the bathroom. Oh, pardon me. Dance question mark? Yep, that's about it. Ah, that's all we can do here. Maybe there's something else we can um, do if we need a visit here in the future. Maybe we'll meet someone there or something along that line. Oh! You. Um, great. You know what? Fine. The people want to hear your story, Shepard. I'm sure they do. Kalisa been seen in Al Jalani, Westerlin News. I interviewed you two years ago when you first became a Spectre. You presented your case very well on camera. Do you have a minute? What, so you can try to do another smear job on me? Now, Shepard, you may object to my methods, but we're on the same side. Your back, your news. I just want to give your story its due. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. 
If true, you told Admiral Hackett to assist the Destiny Ascension, costing hundreds of human lives, and securing the continued dominance of the Citadel Council. The Turians lost 20 cruisers. Figure each had a crew around 300. The Ascension, the Asari Dreadnought we saved, had a crew of nearly 10,000. But surely the human cost. The Alliance lost eight cruisers. Chen Yang, Emden, Jakarta, Cairo, Seoul, Cape Town, Warsaw, Madrid. And yes, I remembered them all. Everyone in the Fifth Fleet is a hero. The Alliance owes them all medals. The Council owes them a lot more than that. And so do you. Commander Shepard, first human specter. Hero of the Battle of the Citadel. Check bid. We get it? Great. Bull rushed on my own show. Well, you deserve it. You're a bit of a bitch. Pardon me for using that term, but I don't like you. I really don't like her. Advertisement? Shepard, you've recently been dead. Don't you deserve the quality and distinction of a traditional Asari burial robe? Anata's mortuary offers the finest quality burial robes, hand spun by skilled Asari artisans. Anata's will help you leave a good looking corpse. <sighs> Foreshadowing? Perhaps? You've recently been dead. Let's go down to the lower level of the Zakara ward. I heard that those lakes up on the Presidium are filled with fish. No, they're not. You ever been up there? No. CSEC won't let me. They say I'm a risk. Uh, they think every Krogan is dangerous. Damn Turians. We should kill them all. Interesting. We have a side mission. Uh, do you? Well, you sold me a fish. Maybe you know. Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. No, you don't. Interesting. I'm just browsing. Of course. Take your time. Maybe a fish, then? What? Why? It's a fish. Fish have nothing to do with it. Oh, maybe Avina knows. Welcome. This is the Zakara Ward Transportation Hub. Public shuttles and shopping are available through the CSEC security cordon. Uh, no. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Sakura Cafe. I hear this is the best place for food on Zakara Ward. You heard wrong. This is the best place for food on the whole damn citadel. High grade provisions. We need to purchase these. And they also sell novels. Popular military historical novel Ascension focuses on several lives warped or destroyed by the human survivalist cult Cerberus. Ah, uh, sure. I don't think I've ever purchased these before, but we might as well have them. Never know when we'll need them. And we have our ingredients now for a uh, mess sergeant gardener. Use chip salesman. Greetings, Earth Clan. You will find many excellent ships for sale here. Only slightly used, yes. With our Unification Day special, you can get up to 2,000 credits back. Such a deal. I'm sure. You know what I haven't had in ages? Ramen. My grandmother used to make the best ramen. Delicious. Thinking back, I really should have stolen her recipe. <laughs> Kasumi is quite the kleptomaniac. You ever had ramen? It's a delicacy back on Earth. Funnily enough, she was just talking about that. Uh, let's not listen to another advertisement. Uh, we don't need to speak to Avina again. Let's have a walk around here. Saronis Applications. Uh, 
Welcome to Sarenus Applications. Can I interest you? Ah, Shepard! Do I know you? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Please, look around the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. I'd like to buy something. Oh, it's all automated these days. There's a catalog interface over there. He's the only person who's really recognized us. Um, everyone else is just kind of being polite. Thanks for your time. Sarinus will be there when you need us. What do you have for sale? Tech damage. Squad bonus plus ten percent to shields, barriers, and armor. You know what? Hmm. Maybe we'll come back. I mean, this is the last store available. Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation outlet on Zakira Ward. Tell me about your store. The Serta Foundation is a human organization known for its genetic therapy regimens and genetically engineered products. Serta is probably best known for the development of Metagel. Thanks for your time. Of course, citizen. Medigel capacity, life support webbing. Increases health by 10%. And Medigel capacity, that costs a lot. Medigel capacity increased by 3. I'll take it. So you have 3 out of 5 upgrades so far on our Medigel capacity. I think we have a maximum of six now. Let's speak to Marab again. He's been the most courteous of everyone, every salesperson. Welcome back, Shepard. What do you need today? You know, I use quite a bit of software in my line of work. It's a shame so few understand their own equipment. Besides the most obvious point and go nav interfaces, anyway. You wouldn't believe how often I hear, Why is the ship turning around? We're only halfway there. <laughs> oh, I would. You know, I like your products. Any interest in an endorsement from the human who defeated Saren? I'd be thrilled. But I don't think I could afford to pay you for it. Don't worry about it. What if we just work out a discount? Absolutely. Just speaking to my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. That will be splendid. I can edit that and have it working right away. Thank you so much. You're welcome. We can go around and basically give endorsements to every store here in the Sakura Ward. I'm not going to be a dick and do that though. I used to do it and yeah, let's not. It, it would get annoying when we run around each store and hear that phrase over and over. But now instead of 90,000, it's only 75. Kind of little discount there. We'll be coming back for that most definitely. We have shipping warehouse. I don't think there's anything. I just got a refund in exchange, and I was told to pick up a new Omni Jail converter here. I don't think you have the right place. No, they said to go to the warehouse. This is the warehouse. Interesting. I don't think there's anything in here. Oh, maybe I'm mistaken. Well, there's people here at least. I don't think there's anyone to talk to. Took me a long time to get this refund. It's a Cision Omnigel converter. He said there'd be one waiting for me. Do you have a service order? No, I got the refund, made the exchange, and then he said go to the warehouse. I just talked to him on the wards market. He sent me here. Come on, why do I need a service order? The wards market? Why would you come to a Zakara ward warehouse? He said they're out of stock and I should go here. He didn't say anything about a service order. Without a service order, I really can't help you. Ugh. What's happening here? This Cladmus is a thief, and I want her arrested. What? I was just walking by. I'm sorry. I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. I did not. Just because I'm a quarian. I need you to stop and take a deep breath. 
You're mocking me, Earth Clan. Just because the Vault Clan need. It was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. Do you know who's telling the truth? My Omni tool can tell the Quarian doesn't have a chit on her. But she could have stashed it to recover later. You know what Quarians are like. <laughs> and she's definitely a vagrant. I'll run her in and see what Bailey wants to do with her. You say she stole your credit chip? She must have. When I left the Serta Foundation store, she ran right into me. How does running India mean she stole your credit chip? That's how pickpockets work. They bump into you and use that as a cover for rifling your pockets. You can't turn your back on these clanless quarians. Thieves. All of them. That's pretty racist. You say you're falsely accused? I was walking to the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the Serta Foundation. He didn't stop or say he was sorry. A minute later, he runs up with C-Sec and accuses me of stealing his damn chit. You ran into each other outside the Serta Foundation. Is it possible the chit fell out of his pocket there? I guess. Sure, all I know is I didn't take it. Do you spend a lot of time at the used chip dealer? Yeah, they've got a lot of nice models. I'd like to buy one and take it back to the fleet, but... A ship would make a great pilgrimage gift. You know about the pilgrimage? I traveled with a quarian who was on hers. I... wow. I didn't know anyone here would do that for one of us. I'll see if I can find out what happened. Sir, this is a C-Sec matter. We'll do all we can... <sighs> All we can to resolve this. We don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, please let one of our officers know. Let's go. Be careful out there. So, apparently he bumped into her outside Serta Foundation, which is where we were, I think. No, oh, that's the applications. Yes, Serta Foundation. Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation outlet on Zakir Award. Avolus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chit? And not that I saw. He didn't purchase anything. Thanks for your time. Of course, citizen. Hmm. What do you think, Michael? Maybe the immuno booster? It's supposed to help with alien bacteria. You can get whatever you'd like for little Jake, Rebecca. Wait, the immuno booster can delay muscle development in high gravity environments. What if that hurts him? I f I'm sure if we go this way. I think I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Yeah, it's not going to get old fast. Ah, my favorite customer. What can I get you? Avolus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chit? Oh, yes. He bought some environmental system drivers, then left without his chit. I didn't notice he'd left until he was already gone. If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. Thanks for your time. I'll be here if you need anything. There you go. I thought it was over with him. So maybe, I remember when he said Serta Foundation, I thought I'd pop in here first for some reason. I thought my memory was going on me. I felt her hand go into my pocket. When I checked, my credit chit was gone. I didn't even touch you! Please move along. You forgot your credit chit at Saronis Applications. The clerk is holding it for you. Oh. Well. The Quarian could have stolen it. I'll close this event report, but I'll be watching you. Get a permanent residence, or I'll run you in for vagrancy. Are you too serious? What? You falsely accused this girl of stealing from you. All you have to say now is that she could have stolen it. Now, just a minute. And you. She gets harassed and insulted by this guy, and you throw in a threat to arrest her for vagrancy? How about if I run you in for obstruction of justice? You think you're going to run in a former specter? I think both of you should get out of here. Oh, son of a... Thank you. I wish I could give you something more than words. Can you take care of yourself from here? I guess. I mean, most nights I eat nutrient paste in a Turian shelter, but I'm surviving. 
Thanks. No worries. I right, get a little bit more experience. I right, get a few credits out of that as well. I don't know how we got credits, but fair enough. We'll end this video here. When we come back, we'll be heading up to the Presidium to speak with the Citadel Council before heading back to the Normandy to hand over those um, ingredients that the Mess Sergeant was asking for. And apart from that, I'm not sure there's anything else we can do here right now, but I'll have another run round, have a think. I wish we had more money to spend, but it's early days right now. This, of course, has been Antwerp Play Mass Effect 2. I hope you've all enjoyed, and I hope you all take care. And that squeaking in the background is going to drive me mad. I think it's passing vehicles. God damn it. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye now.